Stephen 851, turn right, heading 180. It's been a while, but welcome back to another Aviation News Weekly where I do cover stories that did not get their own video on the channel, but are still noteworthy and also incredibly intriguing. As the channel does sadly continue in a spiral downwards, and I would argue my time on the platforms increasingly expiring, I did want to try some different things, and I guess that begins with making this series more regular on the channel over the next week to see if anything at this point sticks. In today's video, you're going to see coverage on Cathay Pacific's primary rival, an airline that is attempting to kill them off, some airlines announcing some incredibly positive news involving their financial position, Delta developments, and a whole lot more. So definitely sit back, buckle in, and stay Stay tuned as we dive into the first topic, beginning off with none other than United States-based Delta and their plans that do actually involve European aircraft manufacturer Airbus. The pair have teamed up in the past week with an announcement involving hydrogen-fueled aircraft, a way that Airbus believes of the future and are actively underway making plans to have these aircraft roll out to customers sometime in the late 2030s. The signed MOU does highlight the understanding between Delta and Airbus that would lead them to be the first United States-based carrier to actually enter into Airbus's hydrogen-powered aircraft program and help with the further development of this and give it really that all-important backing. This does directly tie in with Delta's goal of their road to net zero, actively investing in new programs and working with aircraft manufacturers to discuss and develop the future of air travel, whether in the form of hydrogen aircraft or not, is an incredibly popular choice by airlines within the aviation industry, as they try and attempt to answer the question of what's next. They can only do their best at working out what truly is next, but definitely for Airbus, they believe hydrogen is the way forward. The chief sustainability officer at Delta said that to pull the future of sustainable aviation forward, we need to accelerate the development and commercialization of potentially disruptive technologies. Hydrogen fuel is an exciting concept that has the potential to redefine the status quo. These tangible steps lay the groundwork for the next generation of aviation. There is a lot of talk always surrounding the use of hydrogen aircraft within the aviation industry in the future. So with that being said, what do you make of the announcement by both Delta and Airbus to join forces in developing hydrogen-powered planes in the future? I personally think it's going to be a very intriguing partnership and Airbus should definitely be thankful that they've got a major player within not just the global industry, but specifically the US sector in Delta to help them out. You can let me know down in the comments. Did you know I have a weekly podcast, the DJ's Aviation Podcast, discussing all things aviation from the latest news about opinion pieces, flight reviews, funny stories, and more content not found here on the YouTube channel. It's streaming on all platforms under the DJ's Aviation Podcast. Feel free to go and give it a listen. Let's move on though to the next topic. And sticking with this part of the world, if you will, but more towards the area of South America, we have Aeromexico's parent company, Grupo Aeromexico, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, as they are known, and they've announced that they've exited Chapter 11 and finished their restructuring process. Definitely been a trying time for the airline, like many amid the pandemic, but for them, they can breathe a sigh of relief that the thorough restructuring and protection has enabled them to re-emerge. Not all carriers can emerge from bankruptcy protection. This is something I really want to reiterate, and it's otherwise known as Chapter 11. However, that is what it is actually known for generally, the protection of the business as it undergoes a thorough restructuring, so that it does have the hope of re-emerging whether that be a more streamlined or with a different business model. In a statement released in the newsroom of the website by the airline, the chief executive officer said, Today is an incredibly exciting day for Aeromexico, and we are ready to soar to new heights as we emerge from Chapter 11. We look forward to starting a new chapter in our company's history, backed by a sound financial base, solid capital structure, and also investors who have complete confidence in our future. The pandemic did significantly hurt the airline's performance. Like you've heard me say time and time again, every airline faced its own struggles during the pandemic. However, before the pandemic, in fact, well before it, the airline was already beginning to see initial signs of a downward spiral, with, in 2017, the airline noting losses and filing in mid-2020 for voluntary bankruptcy protection. 
This mainly came following the announcement of a significant loss for the carrier in early 2020. They believe this was going to be the only alternative, especially as if you think back to two years, focusing specifically on the first half, that's when the industry really was collapsing. What are your thoughts though on Aero Mexico exiting the bankruptcy protection and especially what their future holds within the aviation industry? You can as always let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Greater Bay Airlines is the next focus for today's Aviation News Weekly, if you will, and you might be pretty familiar with the name, as I've mentioned it on numerous occasions. While I think I've only covered them here on the channel specifically once, in numerous Cathay Pacific update videos, the name's been mentioned. That is because on numerous occasions, they've been dubbed the killer of Cathay Pacific, which due to very tight restrictions and what many have labelled as basic targeting, has been an airline that's been in a fight for survival. Greater Bay is Hong Kong's newest airline and is looking for an immediate launch to the industry. It has pretty big plans, as covered many times before, and they're looking at taking a significant portion of the domestic market share. And with Cathay's network, mainly their international network, being next to nothing, this could really be the final nail in the coffin, unless there's some way, shape or form that their international travel can recover quicker than first expected. However, now, thanks to a report by Reuters in the past week or so, the tighter-than-ever travel restrictions in and around Hong Kong are also impacting Greater Bay, and they're actually having to reassess their launch plans, as they believe that the current quarantine requirements, which, yes, crazily enough, are still being implemented within Hong Kong, would negatively affect their business too much upon launch to really justify the beginning of operations. They believe that if they were to launch at this time right now, they would probably get off on the wrong foot, and I would argue struggle more than and reap the rewards of a launch. 104 destinations with unlimited frequencies out of Hong Kong International Airport are the carrier's ambitions, and they're looking at ways to start this as soon as possible. The developments will be very intriguing, but similar to Cathay Pacific, the current restrictions within Hong Kong are making it nearly impossible for these airlines to either launch or create really enough demand to stay afloat genuine concerns, and I'll be continuing in upcoming videos to look at the ever-evolving situation in Hong Kong, not just for Greater Bay Airlines, as while they're definitely interesting, we have to also take a look at Cathay Pacific, who have continued to struggle with no natural end in sight for them, as documented heavily here on the YouTube channel. Meanwhile, for the final story of today's aviation recap video, we stay in Asia with Malaysia Air Asia X, who completed, similar to the earlier coverage on Aero Mexico, some debt restructuring that has seen them write US $7.86 billion in the next quarter to profits. The restoring of the business ultimately means it will actually only have to pay 0.5% of the debt that they owe for contracts that are currently existing. It's a lifeline for the company that without this thorough restructuring, probably wouldn't be in good shape, let alone potentially not even flying. Following the restructuring now, further fundraising can indeed take place, with the company eyeing the sum of US $500 million to aid its future growth. That's going to conclude today's recap of the aviation industry. If you have absolutely any thoughts, whether it be the first topic on Delta and their investment really in Airbus and hydrogen for the future of air travel, or potentially Aero Mexico, Greater Bay Airlines battling out with Cathay Pacific, or even the latest being a Malaysia Air Asia X, you know you can drop your thoughts down in the comments. And if you do want to see more of these videos, it would be greatly appreciated if you do let me know. I'm very lost with the channel at the moment. I don't know where to go. Uh, I would say I'm also very unmotivated. So any kind of support regarding this series is greatly appreciated. Do take care and be safe, and I will see you for another video next time.